Today, we're going to be balancing the equation of NH4NO3, so ammonium nitrate, which will break down or yield into N2 gas plus O2 gas plus H2O gas. Okay, so I already wrote out a chart for you and the elements that I see on both the products and the reactant side. All we have to do is just write the numbers. So for the total nitrogen, keep in mind that there are two spots in which you see ends. There's one nitrogen here because I don't see a subscript and there's one nitrogen here. So one plus one is a total of two nitrogens. For my hydrogens, I only see that I have four hydrogens on the left side or the reactant side. So I'm gonna put a four here. And then for the oxygens, I see that I have three oxygens. So I'm gonna put a three here. Going to the product side, I see that I have nitrogen and I have two of them. So I'm gonna put a two here. For the oxygens, there's oxygens on both of these so you have to add them together literally there's a plus so i have two oxygens plus one oxygen so two plus one is a total of three oxygens and then for the hydrogens i see that i have two so i'm going to put a two in front of here so let's see the only thing that looks unbalanced is the hydrogens so I'm gonna balance it out. Always go from the lower number to the higher number. Two times what will get me to four? Two times two. And whatever number that you stated is the coefficient that you place in front of the element that you're trying to balance. So I'm gonna put a two here. And that takes care of that. So I know that I have four hydrogen, but you gotta be fair. Whatever coefficient that you put here has to be distributed between all of the elements. So we just did the hydrogen, right? Two times two is four, but the oxygens are going to change, right? So I'm going to do two times one, oxygen is two, plus there was two extra oxygens here. So two plus two is now I have a total of four oxygens. Okay, so now here comes a little bit of a predicament right? I have these balanced, but I don't have these balanced. So this is where we start making an educated guess. I know that I have to change this number, which means that I know that I have to put a number in front of here. But it looks like I have a odd number here, and I'm trying to get it to an even number. That's never going to happen with a three, and I'm going to try to turn it into a four. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to bump this number up by saying that I have two of these compounds. And now all of the numbers are going to change. Now this is just an educated guess, but sometimes we have to do that with balancing equations. Let's see what we get. Now keep in mind that nitrogen was in both spots. So I'm going to say I have two nitrogens plus two nitrogens. So that's a total of four nitrogens. I'm just gonna turn that into a four. For the hydrogens, I had four, but now I'm multiplying it by two. So I have a total of eight hydrogens. And then two times three is six for the oxygen, right? Okay, now let's see. I have to balance the hydrogens again, and that's okay. That means that this number isn't the right number, right? So I'm just going to erase this. And now let's just try again. Back then, it was a two and a three, right? Two times what will get me to eight? Oh, two times four will get me to eight. And whatever number that you state is now the new number that goes here. So I'm gonna put a four here. And you gotta be fair, just like we said before. So I'm gonna erase this. We know that we have eight hydrogens, and now the total number of oxygens, remember there are two places for the oxygen, so there's two oxygens plus four oxygens. So two plus four is six. And look at that, we're almost there guys. 
The only thing is that we have to fix this nitrogen. Two times what will get me to four? Oh, two times two. And whatever number you stated is the coefficient in which the nitrogen is. I'm going to put a two here. And then two times two is four. So that two gets erased and the four is there now. And now all the numbers are the same for the elements across the board and we are balanced. So in this case, if I just erase this, in this case, our balanced equation is two NH4 NO3s, which will yield two N2s plus one O2 plus four H2Os. I hope this video helped. If it did, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and thank you so much for that. It really means a lot to us. Good luck on all your tests and quizzes, and I will talk to you in the next lesson. See you then. Bye-bye.